Hello and welcome to Maths by Saz. This is my third lesson of B2, chapter number 11, exercise 11B. That is about the trigonometric ratios. In this lesson, we will be learning how to apply different trigonometric ratios for finding unknown lengths of the right triangle. What is right triangle and what are the trigonometric ratios? How to memorize them and uh, what is the reference angle and what is the hypotenuse? You should have the clear idea of these all questions. And if you are not clear about these all questions and those who are catching us late, and for those students who have missed the previous lesson, I will be giving the link of the lesson in the description box. They have to watch the previous lesson properly so that they can understand this new lesson easily because the lessons of mathematics require the continuous practice integration of the lesson with the new lesson. Let's move to question number four. And let me read the question from the book. Question 4 says, find the values of unknowns in each of the following. Okay, two of the parts are done in the previous lesson. And if you have any difficulty in those parts, you can watch the previous lesson. In C part, the given situation is that one of the acute angle is given. That is 44.2 uh, degrees. And uh, the rest three sides are given. One is 7 centimeter, one is E centimeter and one is F centimeters now it's important to mark the vertices according to the situation like uh, this is a face f centimeters so this vertex will be capital f and this is small e so this will be capital e and uh, this can be uh, any letter d e and f now okay let's decide that which trigonometric ratio is suitable for finding uh, e uh, E is opposite and 7 is adjacent. So, in triangle DEF, in triangle uh, DEF, F, opposite upon adjacent tangent 44.2, tangent uh, 44.2 equals to E upon 7. Now, what uh, I have to do is that I have to check the value of tangent 44.2, tangent uh, 44.2 and close the bracket. And this is 0 0.97972425 uh, equals to E by 7. Go for cross multiplication. That is 0 0.97. 2, 5 multiplied by 7 equals to E. Okay. And now 0 0.9725 multiplied by 7. 9725 multiplied by 7. This gives me uh, 6.8075 equals to E. As I have to give my answer nearest to 3 significant figures. So, I will be focusing my attention on 7 as this is more than 5 so it will be approximately equal to 6.81 so uh, the value of e is 6.81 coming to the second unknown of the question that with the reference of 90 degree angle we have f uh, hypotenuse now i'm going to uh, make use of 7 and f so adjacent upon hypotenuse so cos 44.2 cos 44.2 degrees equals to uh, adjacent upon hypotenuse 7 upon f now check the value of cos 44.2 degrees and here i have to put the degrees cos now uh, 44.2 i'm repeatedly asking and telling it to all my all of my trigonometry students that the display of the calculator must be in the degrees, not be in the radian. Otherwise, your calculation will be incorrect. 0 0.71669 equals to 7 upon F. Now, go for cross multiplication. 0 0.7169 times F equals to 7 or f will be equal to 7 upon 0 0.7169 7 divided by 0 0.7169 and this is f equals to 
9.764264 okay as we have to give our answer nearest to three significant figures so focus your attention on four it is less than five so my answer will be 9.76 and centimeters okay and let me block both of my answers so that my students can see this carefully okay one of the answer one of the unknown is f and one of the unknown is e and this is 9.76 moving to the next part and in the next part the diagram which is given to us has one of the angle acute angle 21.5 one side is 8.9 and other two sides are unknown g and h okay first uh, it's good to write the vertices like this is small h so this vertex will be capital h this is g okay and g h and i after marking the vertices c with the reference of this 90 degree angle h will be hypotenuse and with the reference of this acute angle uh, which is the reference angle 21.5 8.9 is opposite and g is adjacent so uh, we have to decide that which trigonometric ratio is suitable for g and which trigonometric ratio is suitable for h in triangle g h i in triangle uh, g h and i okay first we are going to find value of g okay opposite upon adjacent okay tangent 21.5 degrees opposite 8.9 upon g okay now tangent 21.5 21.5 and this gives me 0 0.3939 equals to 8.9 upon g now go for cross multiplication that 0 0.3939 times g like multiplied by g equals to 8.9 now keep g on the same side make g the subject of formula and divide 0 0.3939 to other side 8.9 upon 0 0.3939 8.9 divided by 0 0.3939 and this is g equals to 22 Point five nine. As uh, we have to give our answer nearest to three significant figures, so I will be focusing my attention on fourth digit, which is nine. So G will be approximately twenty two point six centimeters. Okay, one of the problem is solved. Let me underline this answer. Okay, and. Uh, let's move to the finding of value of the other unknown which is uh, h h is in front of 90 degree and with the reference of 8.9 and 25 and h we can apply opposite upon hypotenuse sine 21.5 sine 21.5 degrees equals to opposite 8.9 upon h 8.9 sine 21.5 degrees equals to uh, 0 0.3665 equals to 8.9 upon h now go for cross multiplication that is 0 0.3665 into h equals to 8.9 or h equals to 8.9 upon 0 0.3665 divide 8.9 by 0 0.3665 uh, 8.9 divided by 0 0.3665 and this gives me h equals to 24.28 and centimeters as i have to give my answer nearest to three significant figures so focus your attention on the fourth digit is eight which is more than five so it will take the form 
centimeter i hope you are clear about these two questions and uh, let me uh, go to the next question and let me read the question from the book as the questions are long so i i am writing the questions in short form and we will be reading the question carefully from the book question says if y is inversely proportional to tangent x whole square and y is equal to 2 when x equals to 30 find the value of y when x is doubled okay the question is uh, given uh, that y is inversely proportional to tangent x square recall the concept of inverse variations d2 chapter number one okay because y is inversely proportional to tangent square x so y inversely proportional to one over tangent x whole square okay and now we know that when we need to remove this sign of proportionality we have to put this equal sign equals to k upon tangent uh, square x both have the same meaning that this is the other way of writing the same expression and k is the constant of variation in order to find k the information is given in the question that y is equal to 2 when x is equal to 30 degrees so replace y by 2 and x by 30 degrees and tangent um, 30 degree uh, and whole square now what I have, we have to do is in order to find constant of variation check the value of tangent 30 degrees and this gives me the answer 0 0.5 seven seven three whole square okay equals to two and now take the square of point five seven seven uh, let me check it once again tangent uh, 30 degree is uh, point five seven seven three okay point five seven uh, seven and three and then i have to take the square of this value point five seven seven three and this gives me uh, k upon 0 0.33.33 and 3 and 2 and then next is 7 so i will be taking it as uh, 3 go for cross multiplication and 2 multiplied by 0 0.3333 equals to k which is the constant of variation and this is uh, 2 multiplied by 0.3 okay and this gives me uh, 0 0.0666 equals to k or k has the value uh, give the answer nearest to two significant figures 0 0.67 0 0.67 okay now uh, the relationship will become y equals to zero point or in the beginning you can even take this calculation zero point six 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 upon tangent square x okay now the second requirement of the question is find y when x is doubled it's really important to understand that for the second part we have to find value of y when x is doubled double means that whatever is the value of x given to us we have to multiply that by 2 the value of x which is given in the question is 30 degrees so when we will be uh, having the double of this value that will be 2 times 30 and which will give me uh, 60 so uh, i have to write 0 0.66 upon tangent uh, 30 degree instead of 30 because we have to double the value of x so it will become 60 degrees and whole square i hope this uh, term is clear to my students because this is really important to understand before solution of this question and this is 6 upon tangent 60 degree tangent and 60 degrees has a value 1.732 1.732 and 0 0.5 0 0.5 and it will become 1 and I have to take the whole square of this so uh, 0 0.1234 times 6 upon 1.7321 1.7321 1 
two one and take the square one point seven three two one this gives me three point zero 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 one now finally divide zero point six six divided by three point one two three and one and this gives me zero point two 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 zero point two two and two as i have to give my answer to three significant figures the next digit is one so value of y will be zero point two two and two and let me check it what comes in fraction for this number that is approximately that is equal to two by nine okay i hope uh, you are clear about today's lesson for next difficulty level please catch me in the next class watch my lessons like share and subscribe the channel and press bell icon to get the notification of every lesson in time thank you very much